Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. So guys, back to the house, and we're gonna do the first challenge video up on my YouTube channel. It's my friend Cole. He's been in a few other videos. He sacked up like a 12-pound sack out of ponds by himself. But anyways, this is gonna be tackle warehouse challenge, TWC for short. Basically, um, you have to fish whatever you get in the box. Cole's gonna go over part of the rules, and then I'll do the rest. This is going to be a two-hour challenge, and it's gonna be the best three fish you have because. It is pond fishing, and normally the best three fish are between two and one pounds. Now, all right, so minimum leech 12 inches. Again, we're not fishing the lake, and the bite has been pretty tough lately. And then once you catch a fish on all your lures in this box, you can use whatever you lure you want for the remainder of the challenge out of this box. So why don't you start off with the unboxing. This is my first ever tackle warehouse box. Never ordered one before. You should. Check them out, tacklewarehouse.com. Okay, so I got a free sticker. I have a full layer covered in decals with all my sponsors on it. Uh, this will be going on there. Just got to find space for it. And I got Seaguar 12 pound of Brazex. It's really good for uh, bait casting rods. I wouldn't really recommend it for spinning, but it's up to you guys. And um, I got um, these uh, my, uh, Gubby heads. Gubby heads, swim bait jig heads. I think these are 1 8. Yeah, those are the 1-8s. 1-8s, because uh, I didn't order 3 8 which I should have. And, uh, yeah, this is what I'll be throwing in the pond, too. Alright, so, my first thing is a spy bait. I haven't thrown one. I've watched a video how to throw it, but they're supposed to be really good. I want to try it out. So, we'll see how that goes tomorrow morning. And then, I've got some, just a few Kytex. A few um, Kytex, you mean four? Packages yeah. of Kytex. So I've got the uh, we're up five packages of Kytex. Golly, sure, boy. Sir. I've got the Ghost Rainbow. I've got. It looks like a rainbow shad, but they're really not rainbow. Shad. Electric Shad, Sexy Shad, Small Mouse Magic, and then Small Mouse Magic again. And I throw it on the uh, on my spinning rod. This is a Dobbin 703, a Shimano Sedona, 10 pound liter. And then what I do is. And that reel looks really good just to let you guys know. The Shimano Sedona is really good looking if you want to go buy one. Um, what I do to make I it last... I have one, but I would really like to have one. Just uh, let you guys know. You're not that. getting mine. Um, what I, I wasn't saying I was going to try to get yours. Okay, well, alright. Um, what I like to do when I rig this up is super glue the swim bait to the head so it lasts longer. Which um, is a pretty good idea. I've never tried that before, guys. Yeah, so. He just he actually introduced me to that a couple weeks ago, probably. Alright, let's see what else we got. Um, I got these... <laughs> Probably the smallest jig in the world, guys. It's these uh, missile by Ike's Ike's Mini Jig. Donny got the hooks, and um, they look really about the size of your fingertip. It's really the size of your index fingertip. Yeah. I would say. Get those trailers for me. All right. Uh, I got uh, Jake has a uh, he doesn't have an electronic shad, but I got it, and I got Spawn Off Magic. He recommended it, so I grabbed them. Trailers for the micro jigs. I got, I got some micro jigs in here. I've got PB and J, three sixteenths ounce, and then I've got uh, Green Pumpkin one eighth ounce, which are tiny. We're gonna see if we can't get a few key bites on those. And then so these, um, these little crawls we're gonna be putting on. We'll have to bite them down. They're pretty small. They should work out well, but we'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I found those off the street. No, I'm kidding, guys. Someone gave them to me. We'll both be using those. Soft plastics are an exception. You can use those if they're not in the box. Yeah, but if you didn't order soft, pla soft plastics, but um, if you did, then you have to use those, of course. So, you know. Um, so I got these uh, Santone finesse jigs, which will be very interesting during the spawn because they literally look like a piece of peanut butter. <laughs> That's your Mexican Heather. Wait, I ordered Mexican Heather? <laughs> That's not PB and J Cole. My bad, guys. It looks like a Mexican feather peacock. It's Mexican heather, not feather. Would you just let me call it what it says, okay? All right. Can you believe this guy? 
Anyway, I don't know what trailer I'm going to be following on this because I don't have a Mexican feather trailer. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, uh, what else do I have here? I got, um, this is going to be omitted because it's a deep diver and it will be hung up in a pond and yeah. you will never see it again. It'll dive like 12 feet and that's not going to happen in a 6 foot pond, so. I just let you guys know, I have done this before with a deep diving crankbait. I would never suggest doing it because you don't see a crankbait again. I bet. It, it's still in the pond, just let you know. Good to know. Just don't walk by the, uh, don't walk in the pond near the rock pile because you're going to get a big old hook in your hand. I think all I got left is guppy heads. I got green pumpkin, I got, what color is this? It's yeah. a yeah. blue shad, and then um, I've got 3 8 ounce chartreuse shad. And they were like sold out of every other color. Yes, they know. were. I could not get any other color, guys. It was insane. Oh. Hold up. I've also got Tennessee shad, which... I had already opened for another video, but all small, pretty much same thing, just different colors. So. Okay, this is my last three items. Um, I got, of course, just I got some more. Guppy I keep heads. blanking out. Come oh, on, guppy heads. Um, what? Gummy got two hooks. Um, you know, same thing about gummy got two hooks. I mean, they're good hooks in my opinion. I like them. And then I got more Santone Mexican. Oh wait, no, these are black and blue with purple flake. Is that right? Yeah. Wait, it's 17. Why did you say 17? 7 sixteenths. This Jake over here says they work at Texoma. I knew. So, that's it. Hopefully, well, next time you'll see us probably in the morning eating breakfast, but we will see it all then. Here, I got you. So, me and Cole, we're going to try and go fish this morning, but it's too windy and it's snowed, so we're going to do it later this week. You're going to want to subscribe down below, turn on the notification bell. You're not going to miss this challenge video. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a punishment for the loser. That's going to be fun. Be sure to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss it.